to Havana People Sound. <laughs> You're here with Rian and Mariano from Havana People Sound. Hello. We are the UK based podcast coming to you with all your dance questions, dance topics, anything you want to know about dance. Guys, grab your coffee because today the hour topic is gain weight during the lockdown. That's a nice coffee, a good is one. it? Yeah. That's a good one. So let's start. We noticed then that the popular topic in this lockdown are the gain weight. Definitely. Yeah. This time, these three months and up, some of students as well like text us, chat with us, and uh, ask uh, some tips or suggestions about like how they can handle it or uh, you know. Yeah, especially while we uh, haven't got any dance classes or dance social on, and I think we we realize how much it really affects us not dancing uh, the dancing itself like uh, every 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 week like three four times a week basically really has an impact to even a lot once of a people. week even once a week yes I can tell you it's something that's personally affected me during the lockdown especially in the first two weeks when you know we took a little bit of a break but after that you start to see the muscles becoming different yeah it affected me the first few weeks too I was really worried like I said you know like uh, I have to do something and uh, okay it's time to stop or to celebrate a little bit because there is a long break yes but like as a dancer as an artist I have to I have to work out every day and uh, yes one day a week uh, and why not like a, a break so what to do well we started to establish our routine with our online classes so this is something for us which was fantastic it made a big difference with um, our goals our dance goals and we miss you guys so much so we're so happy to continue supporting our community during this time and we know from your feedback as well like uh, how happy uh, we all are you know to see each other to dance together, to be learning new steps. To... It's fun. Yeah. Come on. It's fun. It's Every fun. time we end up smiling. So yeah. Much. You keep it fit. It's fun. We want the fun. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> Of course, for some of them, they are listening to these podcasts. They are not in the, our dance community and uh, they are not able to have uh, like online classes, uh, Zoom classes. By the way, you're welcome to our work. Always. Uh, always. Yes. It's free welcome classes. To join. You know. But instead, if you don't have these options, you can make a dance routine at home by yourself. You can watch some YouTube videos and work out how they on, dance. Yes, on YouTube, there are a lot, a lot of uh, dance routines, but not only dance routine even like fitness routine Mm. then I suggest so much even some or someone with music Mm. like reggae music reggaeton or even salsa like Latin music are so so amazing and uh, uh, useful for your body to keep fit and uh, you know stay stay healthy yes, but so much fun it doesn't feel so much like exercising i've been following a dance reggae routine a dance hall routine and it's like almost every day and it's really fun you work on your moves you work on your body because you know we've been out jogging a couple times during the week jogging it's never really been my thing but for me it's super some fun. people love it some people not so much <laughs> but yes dance routine always feels more uh, you know more fun and uh, like like you are doing something that you like and you don't feel so tired by the way let's get serious now it's all about commitment mindset Everything is possible, exercise, fitness, dancing, even when you are in lockdown, but you need the mindset. Of course, you need like some uh, encouragement. Motivation. Yeah, motivation. Mindset is really important. And one thing we can do is actually to set a goal. I'm sure you know already, but if you set a goal for your workout, perhaps you want to change something particular about your body or yourself. Maybe you just want to do an overall fitness goal. Get stronger. Get stronger, exactly. 
But, you know, something that really resonates with us or with probably you guys too, if you're listening to this about dance, is make some goals for your dancing. So follow a routine or 10 minutes a day where you just focus on one thing you want to do. You want to improve your spins? Do 10 minutes of drills on spins. Want to improve your footwork or you want to dance to a very fast song? Do that song every day or one minute and then build up as you go. Personal as jazz, choose one routine, like one, only yes. one, and repeat over and over and over because you know that the repetition makes you perfect. Always, always better and better. Totally, yeah. This ties in with uh, something that I always want to tell and talk with the students about is learning a routine and doing it more than once. Quite often we're in a class where we, maybe it's a drop-in class, and we work on one routine in one, one day a week, and then the next week we come back and it's a brand new routine. Now, maybe you're pretty fantastic and you went home and you worked on that every day. Most people don't have the time or they can't remember the routine. You know, it's a little bit hard when you go home. So especially if you haven't got the whole thing videoed or committed to memory. So let's use this time to uh, actually study a one routine and make it yours. Own the routine yeah. in itself. Really have the moves in your body. Make them look like you, not like anybody else. Trust me, it's really sweaty. <laughs> like if, uh, if you repeat and repeat all the time. But it's so fun. And you keep fit. At the end, you think, wow, like, I can dance how I want to dance. Instead of, you know, sometimes we feel like I can't express what I want to express. Let's take a break. What do you think? Yeah? I think and it's time for another coffee. For a second coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you in five seconds. Welcome back to the second part of the show. Okay, in the second part, I want to talk about what exactly to do. Some of them, they don't have any idea like about fitness routine. As a, as a artist, we, you know, we have to, to do fitness, we have to do stretching, we have to do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. that, of course, that's routine. Mm -hmm. what, I, uh, what can I can, uh, suggest about fitness routine? I have a kind of wide knowledge yes, about that. Yes, he definitely does. <laughs> Guys, what I can suggest, it's very simple exercising, is push-up and uh, crunch. <laughs> It's a two like two boring exercise, but are the base, the base of the fitness. If you repeat those over and over and over, you will you will see the benefit of just these two exercises. Of course, for ladies, we know that the push up are a nightmare. <laughs> ladies, squats. I know we all know, <laughs> but they are important. Man. Hate squats. So we have, you know, uh, we 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 love push up. I think the ladies uh, we have a love hate relationship with the squats. Oh, they hurt so bad, but they work so good. <laughs> three exercises then. So push up, crunch, and squat. Definitely. These three we will keep you really. If you're not really sure what to fit. do, these are the things to repeat every day. If you are a little bit stronger, you know, you can make your own sets. Exactly, like uh, making making harder, making longer. With the, with the song like you know uh, listen to some uh, salsa song you have to have music on <laughs> of course so talking about fitness of course we also have to mention uh, diet nutrition I love to say nutrition yes not a diet we do not support diets <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly I'm Italian I don't know what is diet <laughs> no so, he doesn't no I don't pasta <laughs> <laughs> but I love yes I love pasta but I don't eat pasta like every day no. You know, let's say that. We so, wish. I uh, wish. <laughs> make a plan. Make a plan of what you want to eat. You need variety in your diet. Exactly. I strongly recommend to don't buy so much delivery food. Unless... Unless it take is away. Take, take, yeah, take away. Unless it's uh, food and then it's very healthy food. Yeah, maybe Mexican, some Mexican. Mexican, Spanish, Italian, of course. Don't, yeah. <laughs> so basically, what you want to look for in your meals is a high vegetable intake, okay, and a high protein. Now, this protein is better to get from vegetables and such. You can eat meat. I would say less meat is better, okay? <laughs> Chicken. Fine for me. <laughs> 
chicken and, and white fish are fantastic and um, less wheat and less dairy is also great. So all this being said, you know, it's, it's easy to say, but sometimes it can be really hard to do. So what we have to remember is that we are not alone in this, okay? You can always talk to your friends, you can talk to us, you can send a message. Because yes, it can be really hard to do these things by yourself and sometimes we let the feeling that of something perhaps we have or haven't done or have or haven't eaten and we let that get us down. So what we want to focus on when we are feeling bad about these things, I know for especially the ladies we do tend to feel bad about these things, and the men too. The first thing to start with is lifestyle changes. Little things like taking the stairs, drinking more water, have a nice tea, taking time to relax and take a break. And we can use this time for learn something and work on ourselves. Walking, walking to the park. Yes. I think it's uh, really, really good and uh, healthy. Super enjoyable activity. Still fitness. Uh, and you can go with your friends and you can still social distance. Yes. So you extra can, bonus. Yeah, you can meet there. You can still jogging over there and stay to the park like uh, half an hour extra chat mm. uh, with your friends. Stay in the sun. Stay in the sun. If there is any sun. Yes. <laughs> is all about the mindset let's go back to to mm -hmm. this uh, the commitment we don't have to give up when we don't see results like mm -hmm. okay yeah, i will exercise and we do dance routines and we'll go to the world game but i don't see results i'm and gain weight and you know you feel panic changed. Mm -hmm. nothing changed it's it's a process and we're not always patient but it does take time so your, your will, your mind, is able to change everything, even choices of your life, guys. So if you can change your life, your choices, as uh, I want to do a history, uh, history college. Or just or, like when you decided to take your first salsa lesson. Exactly. Every choice is... Uh, you can make it on your own and so choose choose to make an exercise and keep going it is a long process choose to be happy and healthy <laughs> and healthy we are at the ending of our show we we really really miss to dance on the dance floor yes, we miss all of you. all our students all of our friends so we really craving to dance back <laughs> okay and uh, thank you very much, guys, to follow our show. Thank you. And we'll be back next week with a new podcast and a new topic. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. From Havana People Sound. Sound.